Hello everyone, thank you for being here. Today I'm showing you how to make this fantastic beef pot roast for dinner. It includes vegetables and will go awesomely with creamy mashed potatoes and either freshly baked bread or pasta. Without further ado, let's get to it. First, place a large pan over high heat. Meanwhile, chop one small bunch of parsley. Chop one large onion. Once the pan is hot, add one and a half tablespoon of oil. Followed by three pounds of beef jerk roll. Season with some salt and pepper on both sides. While the beef is being seared, mince three to four cloves of garlic. Separate the onion. Flip our beef to the other side, we then work on preparing our carrots. Peel 10 to 15 small to medium carrots. If you have large carrots, just split them in half lengthwise. It's time to check on our beef. Look at that beautiful sear. Transfer our beef into an instant pot. With the pan still hot, add in the onion and garlic. Stir for a minute then add them on top of the beef. Carrots going in. For the seasoning, 1 teaspoon of kosher salt, 1 teaspoon of thyme, 1 teaspoon of rosemary, 1 teaspoon of basil, and 1 teaspoon of oregano. Finally, half teaspoon of black ground pepper. Our special ingredient, 1 cup of red wine. I'm using a cheap red blend here. You're welcome to use different type and more expensive. One and a half cup beef stock. Set to cook on high pressure and heat for 1 hour 15 minutes to 1 hour and 30 minutes or until pour apart tender. While waiting for our roast, make sure to make our sides, mashed potatoes, bread or pasta. It is time! Oh, it smells so good. The first thing we do is cooping out 1 cup of the broth. Transfer our delicious roast on a serving plate. To make the gravy, add 6 to 8 tablespoons of cornstarch into the scoop out broth, stir to dissolve, then pour it into the pot. Turn the instant pot to cook food or saute, cook and stir occasionally until thickened. Now is a good time to taste our gravy and adjust with salt and pepper if needed, before pouring the gravy on our roast. Some chopped parsley before it hits the table. Yes, you may. Scoop out some gravy and we're good to go. I'm so excited. Alright, good boy, let's go. Oh, I can't wait. Some carrots, some creamy mashed potatoes, and finally some delicious beef gravy. Alright guys, you definitely need to make this roast for dinner. Juicy, tender, and flavorful. Don't forget to make the creamy mashed potatoes to go with it. You can find the recipe at the end of this video or in the description down below. Have fun cooking! I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe for more future contents. Thank you again for watching and cooking with me. I wish you have a wonderful, wonderful day. I'll see you next time. Bye!